So that's why having a medical backpack might be the perfect solution. Wait, did you hear that? I think someone's in trouble. Come on, come on oh my God, what is happening down there? Holy Lord. Oh no, help. Oh boy, please help. Oh man, what the heck is going on around here? <gasps> Dude, what happened? Uh, I was practicing oh, my no. scuba diving and a trash panda came out of nowhere and started gnawing my arm oh, off. Oh jeez, okay, well, hold on, man. The good thing I got my med kit with me. I'll get you stabilized before EMTs get here. Now, none of us know when a medical emergency may strike and thankfully, neither my brother nor any trash pandas were injured in the process of this video. But having a medical kit on hand that is well laid out and easy to deploy is key whenever those medical situations arise. And after two years of dedicated use, one of my favorite layouts in a medical kit comes from VanQuest in their Fat Pack Pro series of medical bags. And for those of you who are new to the channel, in 2021, my wife and I packed up our two boys and our dog, rented out our home, got an RV, and traveled from coast to coast and border to border for over a year. And this bag was the family dedicated emergency med kit that hung right in front of the main access door to our RV. And you can only imagine the level of trouble that a three-year-old and a five-year-old can get to in campgrounds and wilderness areas as you travel the country. So as I unpack this medical kit, I hope that highlighting some of these key features in its design will help you determine for yourself what to look for when you're building out your own medical kit. So thanks for hanging with me today, guys. I'm Aaron, this is Gideon's Tactical, let's dive in. Now this is the small size pack. There is a larger version. This seems to work ideal for us four and our family and have the supplies that I'm comfortable with. If you feel like there are more people that you may wanna have supplies for, or certain items that are quite large in your system that you are confident in using, then you might wanna spring for the large. Now, one thing that right out of the gate connected with me is it's carrying options. Most medical kits of this size will usually just have two grab handles. Now, this does have grab handles on top that make it very easy to pull off a shelf, but on top of that, it has detachable shoulder straps that you can either carry in a backpack formation and adjust to fit easily on my large size frame. I'm 6'2", about 215 pounds, and it easily has plenty of real estate on that. I actually tend to have it in the sling formation. It just seems to work better for me and make it easier to rotate around and actually get access to. And on more than one occasion, my kids would get injured one time at a pool on the opposite side of the campground. I had to rush home to the RV, get on my bike, and ride back with the medical kit and having the backpack straps was extremely convenient and helped make that process a lot more streamlined. Now you can completely disconnect them and remove them all together if you just want a more streamlined package or if you want to attach this through PALS webbing onto another larger pack. Now one characteristic that I really appreciate that you don't always find on large medical bags like this is that it has four exterior points that you can attach items that you need to access quickly. In this case, a set of shears will easily fit in this front pocket, it has an elastic strap with a snap. These pockets will also be able to handle cat tourniquets very easily, as well as ambidextrous pals webbing with two bands being elastic to easily fit a cat tourniquet, as well as three that are rigid that you could easily run a flashlight or other items through as well as a generous hook and loop panel so you can put medical identifiers, including blood types. And if you go with a low vis version, you can easily identify it as a medical kit there on that panel. And then you have a one zip dump pocket that has high vis orange. Now, the way I have organized my pack, I don't put anything in there, but you could get some band-aids or gauze or things like that in there and it'll go about a quarter of the way down the bag. And guys, if you're enjoying this type of content, I do invite you to hit that like button and to consider subscribing, becoming part of the Gideon's Tactical crew here. Make sure to hit the bell icon so that you can be notified every week when I put up new content just like this. Now, the main compartment is open with two massive zippers. They are lockable. I don't really know why you'd want to lock a medical kit, but maybe if you don't want your kids getting into it. You have very large tassels right there. It will clamshell itself completely open so you have full access to both sides and nothing will fly out. That's a very important attribute in a high stress situation. I've had other cheaper, less bet, less well laid out med kits that I throw open in an emergency and I got crap flying everywhere. So everything is nice and organized, tight and where it should be. On this upper panel right here, we have three see-through heavy duty plastic 
pouches that you can slide in informational tags. They'll have one zipper each with a large tassel that you can open up. And I have all sorts of smaller items in there like tweezers, band-aids, some medications and things like that. And the nice characteristic is that there's a grab handle and a huge wall of hook and loop behind it. So you could completely rip out this entire panel and take it with you to a certain area, leaving the main compartment maybe with somebody else that's injured or somebody else that's handling a different situation. And as a quick disclaimer, I am not a medical professional. You, the viewer, take on all risk as well as responsibility when using and deploying medical supplies. And it's important for each one of us to understand the benefits as well as the risks with every piece of either gear as well as medication that may be involved in a medical kit and know how to properly administer them to ourselves or to someone we come in contact with. And I cannot stress enough the importance of having some basic first aid training. And it would be excellent to enroll yourself in some first aid classes and with a little bit of research, it's not that difficult to discover who may be hosting them. And just for some ideas, you could check state and local colleges as well as police departments and fire departments as well as many firearm ranges will host regular first aid classes. And if you're interested about the medical supplies that I put inside my med kits, I have several videos on that that I will put in the link in the description below this video. And I will also have a few links to some of my most used and trusted medical supplies. Again, do your research, make sure they work for you and your scenarios. Then on the opposite panel, where you're gonna get elastic bands of different sizes to easily be able to hold larger slings as well as bandages, and then smaller items like ointments and backup tourniquets. Then we have two zippers that will zip open and offer a secondary organizational pocket. Inside there, we can fit everything from our SAM splints to our pocket first aid manual, just for reference in case a situation arises that we're not quite familiar with. These are very helpful. I think this would be important for anyone to have in their medical kit and particularly if you're a parent, this may save you or your child's life. And then behind that, we do have another set of large, thick elastic bands that can easily handle Israeli tourniquets, SWAT tourniquets. We even have a non-ice based, like a chemical um, ice pack in there. And that whole panel can also detach itself. You can rip that out. Now, as we're going through this video, if you do not yet have a medical pouch like this, and you think that this might be the right setup and layout for either yourself, your business, or your family, I will have links in the description box below over to the VanQuest website, where you can kind of explore not only the large and small, and even their personal IFAC pouches. And they do have the high vis black, as well as coyote tan color combinations in both the small and the large. The small usually goes for like 110 and the large usually goes for like 170. I know currently up until the end of 2023, they are gonna be running a sale where you can get a pretty good discount on the medical series of packs. And I do appreciate VanQuest hooking me up with this model over two years ago so that I could take it with me from coast to coast, use it all over the country, when we were at full-time RVing and now having used it in my own backyard, I do really appreciate and connect with the layout of this design. So guys, the three characteristics of build quality, layout, and carrying options have really fit the bill for me and my family. I just hope this video has raised awareness for you in your life, regardless if it's on the job site, in your career, if it's for your family, or just you as an individual going out on your adventures to have a well-laid out, well-stocked med kit can not be more essential. So thanks for hanging with me today, guys. I hope this video has not only been informative, but entertaining. And I encourage you to check out the other video popping up and to subscribe if you haven't yet. And until next time, always remember, stay equipped, stay prepared, and I'll see you out there.